Uh, next up, we've got a, a returning uh, returning creator who's here to show us uh, a follow-up from a video he did before. You might remember that we looked at a chasing drone. This guy mm -hmm. put a fifth fifth motor on his drone, and I was confused because I thought it went backwards. I thought it was to slow you down, right? So you could maintain the right. same speed without tilting from the speed change. You could just pull, right? And then we explained it wasn't like that. It was push. But was he heard our news show. Oh. And he changed it. He's so like, oh, pulling. That's a good idea. He, he's like, he, That's uh, absolutely right. He's like, oh, that seems interesting. Let's try it out. So he put it on a 3D ESC instead. Uh -huh. And uh, he changed his slider to be totally 3D. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, and he gave it a shot. He hasn't been able to chase cars yet, but he did testing across a field uh -huh. um, in his video here. And uh, yeah, he got some pretty good results. So I, I really th I think it's interesting. He's basically starting to create like another, um, another I don't know what you want to call it. I guess axis, but another like way to manipulate the drone. You know, and yeah. I, I imagine like the other sticks, it would start to become second nature if you use it all the time. You know. Yeah. So what this is letting you do is change the speed of the drone independent of its tilt angle. Uh, which is especially useful when you're chasing because you need to be pitched down to look at the car. But then if the car is getting away from you, you want to accelerate without pitching down further and losing the framing. And uh, likewise, it can decelerate you into the turns. You normally have to pitch back to decelerate. And it just gives you that little bit of extra manipulation. And we can see here he is tweaking this slider. We can see his yeah, speed been, readout. Yeah, he's doing back and forth runs, basically. He's He's trying to like, you know, with the with the brake and then without the brake, and he's trying to see how far he goes if he like stops at the same spot yeah. by like you know his pitch manipulation of the angle and then him not pitch manipulating the angle and just using the brake. Yeah, because uh, of course when you when you slow down a quadcopter by pitching back, you're you're essentially relying on air resistance and drag. You have no braking whatsoever, and that's why like when quadcopter pilots or FPV pilots are about to crash we pitch back like this and hit the throttle and bounce off the wall or whatever. But he has the ability to just use that backwards facing propeller to drag himself and slow himself down. I think it's more interesting though, to like add a small amount of fixed drag to slow you down in a way, uh, rather than doing anything too, uh, ridiculous. Um, let's see. Here. Yeah. Um, Seems pretty neat to me. It is. It is. Wow, the mods are the mods are really jumping on this guy in the chat. He was spamming his question, but uh, did he get a timeout? I'm not going to argue with the mods. Jeez. Oh, Mike uh, Bergman. Mike Bergman. Du that's short fuse today. Dwayne in the chat asks, "Why not tilt the camera with a servo to compensate?" I'm sure there's a good reason. I would guess that's going to be less precise. It's not going to be tied to the same like axis exactly. You're going to get some differential there, so you're not going to get a smooth movement. You're going to get a somewhat smooth movement, right? And then yeah. I'm going to guess, yeah, it's going to be latent. So it's going to fall lag behind how fast the motors could change. Yeah. So, um, yeah. The other thing is that uh, you, you're going to end up with a situation where your up tilt angle changing makes it hard to control the drone predictably. I ran into this when I was flying with the Medlin drone. Uh, anytime you're flying and your up tilt oh. angle changes, yeah, it, like you would mean to level out and instead you're drifting backwards and you're like, why am I drifting backwards? And it's because your up tilt angle is weird. Uh, or you would pitch yeah. forward meaning to fly forward and instead you just be like, eh. Yeah, and so, so having, you're going to have... Yeah, you're going to have two issues here. You're either going to be moving your frame of reference to move the camera, yeah. or you're going to be moving your camera independent of frame of reference, and you're not going to know your shooting angle, Correct. which are both going to be a problem, right? So, so this lets you keep your, your camera angle consistent, meaning you get that consistent, precise control, but you're just manipulating your speed by pulling the drone back or forward. Of course, if we look here, we can see that it, the, the motor is not always going to be pulling straight backwards, depending on the drone's angle. We're making some well, assumptions yeah. about the, the yeah, camera it, angle and the motor angle. I could be wrong. I think he's making that mount. If he's not, I bet he should make that mount so that the motor is always 180 degrees opposite the camera, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. 
Yes. Um, and that's what it, it looks like on this build. If you look how he has it set up, it may be coincident or it may be on purpose, uh -huh. but it does look like he has it set up with that specifically in mind. So I think, yeah, like you said, if you do this, if you do change that angle, you would want to change that back mount probably. Yeah. The other thought that I have, and he's surely thought of this as well, so, but, uh, you know, we just spout off on the news. That's what we do, is that it's not pulling through the CG, so it's going to introduce a rotational force that is going to then need to be counteracted by the PID controller, uh, meaning that the front motors will have to speed up. And yeah. I bet that if it were somehow able to be mounted so it was pulling through the CG, it would work even better. Oh, I see it like almost like down towards the middle of the quad, almost like under it or something. Correct. But, so you, it was... but you almost couldn't. At some point, you're going to block it. Yeah, you got to kind of find a balance there. But yeah, I wonder yeah. if there's a better position to, to, I... to meet that CG. Or if it's just so easily handled by the pits, it's not a problem. You know? Maybe. I, maybe. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be kind of interested to try this out. Where does this guy live? Is he in the USA? I mean, you could always ship um, something, I guess. I don't, I don't think he is. Yeah. Uh, Shipping internationally I, is more at, expensive. At the end, he talks about, you know, he's asking people to support him, support him doing the testing, but it's in a foreign language. So I think he's uh, in another country. Okay. It's a very interesting, a very interesting situation. Um, yeah. Okay. 